<clears throat> All right, so we start with uh, um, the Sefer of its time. And uh, it says uh, a public announcement. Okay. Traditional Jewish community have used uh, social pressure in dealing with a, uh, with a pub uh, publicly absorbent those whose private behavior included blatant violation of the basic halal. Okay. Uh, if all this fails, it is permissible to publicize the fact that the otherwise observant Jew is guilty of immorality uh, on a regular basis. Uh, if, uh, the, if the disclosure will prompt him to repent. So in all the days, it was very simple. So and people were afraid of it. Why, why, why is that? Because basically people uh, were, uh, were living in a small towns, small villages. And uh, basically if, uh, if they publicize that this guy is, uh, I don't know, no good, he does not do whatever he does not do. Uh, that, that doesn't, so basically people are not going to marry his children. Or if uh, nobody is going to marry his sisters, basically. So it was uh, very, very dangerous. So it, it, this uh, public pressure worked uh, very well in most of the cases. Not always, of course, there is a rebellious people. But uh, so today they say if uh, there is a part, you think there is opportunity that uh, um, this uh, social pressure would work, so that's what you need to do. Similar rabbinical courts have authority to post signs in front of the public someone's refusal sirf, to comply with the court's ruling. Social pressure is often the only means through which the rabbinical court can enforce their decisions. So basically, how does it work? The so people came to the base dean, uh, to litigants, and base dean said, okay, the Roman has to pay Shimon. Right? And the Roman said, I'm not going to pay. I'm going to take him to the secular court. So this uh, rabbinical court uh, has the right to publicize everywhere that uh, we reached a decision and he, he refused to comply, basically, right? And uh, if they publicize around the whole town, let's say wherever in the whole area, in all of the shuls in the area, so everybody would know. So, and uh, the, the news is going to uh, spread out. So if he, I mean, like, the only uh, option he has to move out basically, but if, when he moves, he's going to move out, people are usually noisy and they ask where you're from, say, I'm from this community, or even a proxy, so they, they would find out. So that's uh, that's the only thing that uh, the court can do. Okay. Question. When, uh, for example, in this situation, let's say, you know, uh, basically gets kicked out of the community, long story short, right? But when is it right to, like, you know, get rid of someone, for example, in uh, this parsha, Lech Lecha, right? Uh, Avram basically said, you know, wanted to be nice to Lot, but at the same time, you know, uh, we're going to go our separate paths. So when did you go your separate paths, and when do you keep someone saying, no, he'll get better? So <clears throat> I guess it's it's on a case-by-case -case basis. So in, in case of Lot, it's <laughs> <clears throat> so hi or how are you? All right. So in a, so the the question is uh, uh, when when do you stop uh, like uh, to bring somebody closer or could, could you move your camera a little so we see on your your nose a little? Okay, that's it. Okay, maybe a little lower, if if possible. Okay, uh, uh, okay, okay. Good, good, perfect. All right, thank you. So, so basically, uh, so you you try your best. I mean, uh, we we try not, not to exclude everybody, anybody, right? We, we're all responsible for one another. But at some point, at some point, you you, you just give up. And uh, like my my personal approach, uh, I, I I don't want to say I'm I'm perfect example, but uh, my personal approach. So I have only limited time in my life. You understand? I have to learn myself. I have to do mitzvah my, myself. I have to do many, many things, right? And uh, so I try to approach person one time, two times, three times. He does not. He's not interested. So I, I would approach him maybe once in a few months, send him some links. That's it. But I'm not going to dedicate a lot of time because there are other people who require my time. You understand? 
So, but but if you say somebody is rebellious and he's not interested, and he's definitely like uh, maybe like in front of you show that he's not interested, I mean just get rid of him. Don't go there. So Hashem said, you know what, Abraham, you're, you're very holy. Nobody's arguing. You're very holy, but you have to get out. This place is not for you. And many times that's the only option for you to leave and go to a different place, to a different community, different uh, uh, synagogue, different uh, yeshiva, different. You understand? That's the thing. So it's on a case-by-case -case basis, of course.